Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can set up a photography or product photography studio without any lights. Hi, my name is Velho Furs and uh, this is a book by Vesku Rotenen, how to come up with new ideas and I made the illustrations and the design for this book. This setup is very spontaneous, so if you don't have access to a studio if, or if you don't have studio lights, you can still do this. This is very quick. Um, and even though you don't have artificial uh, studio lights, you still need light, of course. And for this, we have a big window that will give us a lot of uh, soft outdoor light. And there's no direct sunlight coming in, just the ambient outside light. The next thing is that we closed all the indoor lights, because the indoor lights have a different white balance than the outside lights. So that's, that's why we, we don't want mixed uh, colors in our photo. So it's much better to only have this one color. And, but to then to fill up the shadows uh, of the books, we brought in this um, uh, whiteboard or whatever it is, just a white surface uh, that was lying around here to uh, bounce the light and fill up the shadows. And just a tip is that when you fill up shadows or whenever you use these kind of lights, the closer your subject is to the light, the stronger the light is. So in that case, we tried to bring the uh, whiteboard as close to the uh, fold, uh, as close to the uh, subject as possible without it entering the frame. And then, because this is not a studio shoot, we had to consider the environment, and we had this background, this blackboard, and then we started to think like, how can we make the blackboard more interesting? And because the book is full of full of these small uh, funny illustrations um, done by Volha. Then we decided, okay, well, the same author, Volha, will draw the blackboard full of interesting images. So now we have an interesting background. So then I had the camera on a monopod connected to the computer. And on the computer, I had the Panasonic tethering app running. So we were able to see from a bigger screen what the camera saw. It allowed us to work together on the composition. And then we just simply tested as many different uh, setups. So in the post on the computer, we were able to kind of then uh, choose the best one. So this was a rather sp uh, spontaneous and fast setup. To make these photos, it probably would have taken us half an hour up to one hour. But now that I decided to make this video for you, you guys, it took us like two hours. So I hope you liked it. And tell me in the comments if you're going to use this method somewhere. See you in the next video. Bye.